Now, the song that I'm going to look at is Rising Sun. Years ago, I discovered three milk crates of cassette tapes in my basement. And back when I had Sony Walkmans back through the 80s, late 80s, 90s, maybe even the early part of the 2000s, um, that and micro cassettes, but, but almost like 97% of these were uh, cassette tapes that, you know, I took it around just like my iPhone at the time. If I had an idea, whether it was a lyric idea, a melody, a, a song, I grabbed my guitar, um, a conversation with someone, I thought, you know, these are going to deteriorate over time. So I wanted to transfer them to digital. So this song uh, that, you know, started off on the acoustic, when I brought it into the studio, I just started working with Freak Bass. He was my bass player at the time, and he's he's world class. It was really fun working with him, and he did uh, my Sweet Spirit CD, and he did my last live CD with me, Kelly Ritchie Live at the Thirsty Year. You know, when I brought this in, I used uh, a drummer at the time from Lexington that I loved, Robbie Kazenza, and he, Freak, and I created the arrangement for this song, and it gave me a platform to jam. And I thought, you know, I really like that, that groove. That's a lot of fun. And the whole song was intact. Typically, when I look back on songs that I've written, if I get an idea or a groove going, I'll go with it. I'll sing 10, 15 verses. Some will be... You know, someone would just be na 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 la 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 whatever. Or I'll grab some of my journals and just flip it open and flip through. It's like ah, there's some lyrics. I just start singing them. Then I go back through and I listen. I write down the lyrics that came out, and I underline the ones that I like. And while it's fresh, I hit record and I try to record these so uh, I have a record of you know what it is that I just created. That way I can set it aside and know that if I come back to it, I haven't lost anything. For those of you that enjoy writing songs, I want to encourage you, hit record, capture the idea. You'll never remember it. You always think you will. Also, even if it's in the middle of the night, I keep my phone next to my bed. If I have an idea, I, I just hit record. It's right, you know, I, it's right there <laughs> and I grab it. So I really want to encourage you to do that. Years ago in the studio, we still were using two inch tape and there was a solo that I wanted to use slide guitar and record it, then flip the tape around backwards and it just sounds like spaceships and all kinds of extraterrestrial beings have just landed in the studio. It's really fun. So I wanted to experiment with that. So I'm going to include, I just turned on my iPhone with the video while I was uh, recording that track. But you'll see with me on a beer bottle, I'm just going nuts. And keep in mind, that was the frontwards track. So when you listen, and I'll include the studio version of this song, uh, for you to listen to when you hear all that craziness at the end, that's me playing slide, Dwayne taking it, flipping it around backwards, putting delays on it, and that's what that sounds like. 